Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universal Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing something that's going to be pretty insane but also it will be quite short because today we're in the Trappist 1 system as you can see and we're going to destroy the system very very quickly so yeah hopefully um, you've obviously seen by the title what we are doing and this poor little solar system oh poor little Trappist 1 like if we just look at the furthest object here look at this distance in AU 0 0.05 AU yeah, this system is very, very small. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to see how quickly the 10 million or the 10 trillion luminosity star destroys this system. So yeah, this is probably going to be a very short video, guys. But this is just something um we have to do because yeah, this little system we are just going to destroy it. So yeah, hopefully um you guys are all having a great day. Um and yeah, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Helps on the journey to 3,000 subscribers because that'd be awesome. But without further ado, let's get into this. So. Let's just slow down time to mill it, like the slowest it can go because this is going to be quick. So 0 0.0009 seconds. So I'm going to stop the simulation. We are going to delete Trappist 1. Then we are going to get our 10 trillion luminosity stars. We're going to put it right here. It is a little too big, I know. So we're going to just going to pull it right in the middle. Then we are going to make the star a little smaller. So we're going to lock the mass. But the radius, we are going to make a lot smaller. So hopefully this won't destroy our star. Okay, there we go. Right, so this thing is tiny now. So then we're going to go tools, auto orbit, just so nothing crashes into the star. Okay, so it's got 10 trillion luminosity. That's what that number there means. So we're going to hit play. We're going to go to the closest star, or the closest um, planet, sorry. And we're going to see what carnage unfolds. So there's our 10, tr 10 trillion luminosity star. So this planet's got a bit of water on it, as you can see. Trappist 1b. So we're going to hit play. Look at the temperature. This is happening in 0 0.009 seconds. Look how quick that temperature is going up. So this hasn't even been one second yet. Look at that time. Or look at that um, temperature, sorry. Look how quick it is rising. Oh my god. Oh, look at it. It's losing material. Look, you can see all the um, water is starting to evaporate off already. So let's just quickly pause. So we're already at 2.69 days. So we'll remember that... Um, um, remember that number. So, Trappist 1C, 7,000 degrees. Also losing material. Like, they're all, all of them are losing material. I like can see there's all smoke clouds around all of these. Oh, no. Poor, poor Trappist 1. Oh, look at this one. This one's losing a lot as well. Wow. Okay, so let's just um, hit play again. Now, let's speed up time a little more. Wow. Okay. So, let's keep going. Speed up a little more. So, let's um, keep going here. Oh, God. So, we can watch this happen all in slow motion here. So, wow. Look at that. That dukes really really cool um that that looks really cool i really i really like the way that looks like all the smoke trail coming off it that is cool so yeah this object is just not going to handle 6.95 masses of moon and it's already losing mass and it's only 10 milliseconds we're playing at right now that is insanely crazy so look at this this is this is ridiculous look at the radius and the mass just go down the atmosphere is completely gone the atmosphere has just completely disappeared off it look at that temperature Oh no, this isn't good. Let's just pause again, let's keep an eye out. Um, let's actually just go on all this mode here, so we can see everything. So, yeah, this isn't good. Look at this one here, Trappist 1D. Look at this, all the water's gone. It's just, and that one as well, that one's losing all its water, 1H. Look at this, all of their frozen, all the water is just evaporating straight off. The, temp the temperature of the rock or the planet, the rocky um, planet, is just completely heating up out of control and this is all happening in milliseconds so we've only probably played a few seconds so far but this is crazy look at them look at the um, water percentage go down as well that is insane okay so let's just go back to the middle one here and let's just keep going so right let's speed it up a bit more so now we're traveling at about over a second now so let's just, let's just keep going so we're still at 2.69 days now we're at 2.7 days so it's been one day and just look they, they, look they've already got we've already lost one Oh, oh my, okay. Wow. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Wow, that is... And they're all gone. They, they, these guys are finished. It's completely gone. And it's still 2.7 days. And we started on 2.6 days. 2.69, sorry. So, 0 0.01 days. And these objects were completely gone. Trappist 1C, that's all that's left. Like, it's completely gone. So... That is insane. But one more thing. Before we end off, we'll do it again. We are... I know. No, no. We need to start pause. Start the simulation paused. Okay. 
Right, so there we go. So 0, 0.0 seconds have passed. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We are just going to put the star in, auto-orbit. So, um, yeah, 10 trillion. Let's put it right there. Then let's obviously lower the number again. Let's lock that. Then um, do this, like that. So it's done exactly the same thing. Let's delete Trappist 1, obviously. Let's put the star right in the middle again, pretty much. And then auto-orbit. Okay, so then we'll slow down time a bit. Put it to a few minutes. So let's do like that. So two minutes. Now let's see how quick every single object disintegrates. In, let's see how much time it takes. So I'm going to hit play. And let's just watch. Okay. So it's completely gone. And that's everything gone. That took 13 minutes. So there is still material here. But these are all fragments. The original objects are completely gone. As you can see, there's no objects in the menu anymore. So it took it 13.3 minutes, pretty much, to completely annihilate every single planet. That is insane. This star is mental. This this is ridiculous. That is crazy. Like, wow. Yeah, so there we go, guys. So that is what happens if you put a 10 trillion luminosity star in the TRAPPIST-1 solar system. So 30, it only took 13.3 minutes. So we can literally just make a whole video where we are just playing it at one minute or one, one, like, playing it in real time. And we'd, it would only take 13 minutes for the whole system to disappear. So that's insane. But yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless, even though it's probably quite short. So yeah, so let me know your thoughts down below. If you've got any ideas for what-if scenarios or any ideas we could do with this um, 10 trillion luminosity star, then let, let me know down below. But yeah, there we go. So like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. It helps on the journey to um, 3,000 subscribers before June because that would be awesome. And yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.